Hey, this is the Text Patent Saigon. This is JR. Today I want to talk to you about why I chose the motorbike I did and uh, what all it took to get it. I think it might be interesting. When Ray and I first came here, we stayed in a hotel and we did that for about a year and didn't have a motorbike. As we learned the city more, we made more friends. Our taxi and motorbike uh, taxi bills got higher and higher. So pretty soon it came time to buy a motorbike. I decided that I wanted a new motorbike instead of a used one so I wouldn't have all the problems. Then it just came down to deciding which brand and, and which model of motorbike that I wanted. It also became an issue of how you buy a motorbike here because really foreigners aren't allowed to buy a motorbike. But there's always a way around things. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say that, but there's always a way around things. So I'll tell you the steps that we did to get a motorbike and we'll talk about what type of motorbike I bought. We decided to buy a Honda. I've had Honda cars, Honda motorbikes, um, Honda chainsaws, Honda lawnmowers, everything Honda, and they've always proven to be really good. So we decided to buy a Honda motorbike. Ray was in charge of picking the colors, and I was picking the style of motorbike we want, the number of CCs and such as that. We both agreed we wanted a bike with plenty of storage space. Rhea picked the color of the bike, which was gray. When we went to the Honda shop to pick it out, it was near our hotel. Um, we decided that the bike that appealed to us the most was called a Honda Lead 125. Uh, in prior years, they'd only been a 110cc, but the year that we bought it, they had restyled the motorbike and made it a 125cc, which is really a nice size for around the city. It'll get you up any hills that you might encounter in parking garages and things like that. Otherwise, Ho Chi Minh's pretty flat. I like the Honda Lead. Uh, I like everything Honda, so yeah, they just don't make anything that uh, doesn't hold up well and doesn't perform. Their products are really great. So we went with the Honda Lead. Then we had to get a friend of ours to come and buy it for us. Well, instead of putting it in her name, uh, because she actually lives outside of Ho Chi Minh City, her ID and everything is from Hui Nhan, uh, we put the motorbike in the name of the owner of the Honda shop. So the Honda shop, I guess, still owns my motorbike even though I paid for it. Once you have the blue card, which is the title here, uh, you can pretty much do what you want. You can sell it, trade it, um, it's your bike. And we had the blue card. It took them about a day to make ready the bike, and we went and picked it up. Uh, man, I was really nervous driving in Vietnam for the first time. Traffic here is nothing like it is in the U.S. It comes at you from every direction. So it was a real scary thing, uh, riding the bike back from the Honda shop to the hotel. So I took it easy learning to ride it, and now I feel real comfortable riding around town. Uh, you kind of get used to playing Space Invaders with all the motorbikes. We had a friend of ours go and get the license plate for the bike. A foreigner can't get the license plate um, unless they go through a whole lot of paperwork, which you do if you're a, um, on a one-year work visa or three-year or five-year visa. Uh, for someone that was uh, quarter to quarter like us, uh, you really can't go get a, a license plate. So we had to have that friend do that for us. We picked the bike that we have mainly for its features. Um, I'll show you some of the features it has. It's really pretty cool. The reason that we decided to buy this Honda, <laughs> well, there, actually there were several reasons. One is that we wanted a step-through bike because you can put bags and things down in the step-through. So it's really handy. The other thing is that this bike has a combo brake. The combi brake works by putting the front and back brake on at the same time at the right proportion. So you get a good clean stop. It's really great up to 30 or 40 kilometers an hour. It'll stop you fast and 
keep you from rolling over. The other thing that's really great about this thing is the huge cargo area. This cargo area is 32 liters, which um, is about as big as a hotel refrigerator. So it's plenty big. We always carry a air gauge, a bike lock, and our poncho in our luggage compartment. And we still have room for two or three bags of groceries. It's pretty handy. The only thing that's bad about this bike is it's really a city bike. It's not a highway bike. The problem that we have with it on the highway is that uh, with the little tires and things like that, anytime a truck or a bus comes by, it just blows you all over the road. It's really kind of unstable. Maybe in the future, we'll buy a bigger bike. We've kind of been looking at the Yamaha. They've got a 155cc that looks like a really nice road bike. So we may wind up getting one of those. I don't know. Uh, we often travel around here, but we usually travel by the uh, limousine buses. Uh, they're really nice and they're really inexpensive. If we go anywhere far away, we fly. So uh, pretty much uh, traveling by motorbike on the highways is, is not something we, we intend to do, but we may. Uh, we've really thought about it. It's kind of nice to load up your stuff and hit the highway. You can stop where you want, uh, really enjoy your trips. So there's a good possibility we'll do that. We've had this bike now for, uh, been going on about five and a half years. And it's been really great. It's been serviced maybe um, every thousand miles. Uh, it's never had a service problem or a breakdown of any kind. And um, I'd advise anyone that's gonna buy a bike, you know, get a Honda, man. They're, they're just fabulous. This little Honda uh, doesn't have many miles on it. We probably um, have put about 7,500 kilometers on it. So it's just driving it to the store, back from the store, to the laundry, uh, to the movie theater, uh, over to District 1 every now and then. That's about it. So it, it doesn't get a lot of use. We don't have to commute to work or anything like that. So it mostly sits in our living room. But at any rate, uh, if you're gonna uh, have a motorbike here, pick the right one for the job. If you're gonna travel a lot, don't get one like mine. If you're going to uh, uh, be mostly in the city with your motorbike, get something that uh, can haul some stuff uh, that you can carry your groceries on. It'll really help you out. Uh, a lot of the bikes here, uh, people load them up and, and uh, the loads are unsafe. They're, they're too high, they make the bike uh, top heavy, things like that. Just not a good idea. So be sure and pick a bike that uh, fits your needs and fits your driving style. Hey, I wanna thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks again, this is the Tex Pat Saigon signing off.